In this video, I'm going to build a custom luxury ice pack. If you've been on any type of social media recently, you've probably seen a video where someone's getting in freezing cold water. This is an ice bath. And consistent ice baths have been known to have insane benefits. One of them is increasing levels of happiness. That's the one I need. For me, my typical ice bath situation is filling a bathtub with water and putting a $5 bag of ice into it. And this works fine if you want to buy ice and fill up your bath every single day. But I'm sick of buying ice and wasting water, and honestly, I would love to have a more immersive experience. So, I set out to buy an actual ice bath. I mean, it couldn't cost more than a couple hundred bucks, right? Wrong. Wrong again. Wrong. Wrong. Every ice bath I looked at was in the thousands. So, the only option is to make one. Do you guys remember those old freezers in your grandma's garage that are usually filled with like ice cream and waffles? This could be the perfect substitute for that $30,000 ice bath. The way I'm hoping this is going to work is pretty simple. I'm going to use a chest freezer to cool down a bunch of water. This will also be what I sit in. Then I'm going to build walls around the freezer to make it its own room. And just because I think it's awesome, we're going to add speakers and shower heads to make this thing simulate thunderstorms. And while filling it up, it seemed to be holding water really well. Dude, it's, it's totally holding water! But as it turns out, freezers aren't meant to hold a thousand pounds of water. Um, so it's actually not holding water. There's a leak somewhere. Pretty bad one too. So we had to drain the freezer to figure out what the problem was. So I found out why this thing's leaking. On the bottom, there's cracks. So I just coated it in Flex Seal. The problem is, Flex Seal takes about two days to dry. But while we wait, we can go ahead and get started on the walls. To build this ice room, I needed six walls to surround the tub. After we knew the walls would fit, we took them apart and made them waterproof. Then it was time to take it all into my apartment to be permanently installed. Yes, I said apartment. But never mind that because it was starting to look freaking awesome. Freaking awesome! Wow! Oh, it's exactly like I pictured it. The next step was to put up the tile. It's important that this thing looks awesome inside because I want to want to be in here. Then we ran the plumbing all the way up to the roof where we could simulate rain. Dude, this is gonna be sick! The way it's gonna rain in here is really simple. We have a pump that sucks water from the tub and sprays it out of the shower heads in the ceiling. Before we go any further, we're gonna test this out to make sure it works. You ready, dude? Yep. <laughs> But as you can tell, something wasn't quite right. Sounds like a freaking broken vacuum. If you need a water pump that'll make you go deaf, this is the one to get. <laughs> the whole point of this room is to be immersive. And if it sounds like this, it's not gonna work. So we had to wait two days for our new pump to come in the mail. And I don't know if it was the vibration from the new pump or something else, but tiles started to fall off and it didn't seem like it was pumping. Uh-oh, turn it off, turn it off. All of a sudden, the water would barely come out of the shower heads and the pipe started shaking. Oh, I should have just taken out a mortgage and bought a real ice bath. We started taking everything apart, hoping to find the problem with the pump. And we didn't find anything, at least until we took the shower heads off. Okay, we, I found the problem. Look, earlier today, we may or may not have made a huge mess that got the water dirty and clogged all the lines with sawdust. But hey, I'm not gonna say whose fault that was. Just, there you go. Sawdust and metal. We cleaned out the shower heads and put fresh water in the tub and we were good to go. That is awesome. For the tiles that fell off, we loaded them up with a ton of glue and stuck them right back on the wall. Ooh, it's looking good again. And now that the inside was more or less coming together, it was time to finish up the outside. This mainly consisted of wrapping it in drywall, putting up the molding, and painting. When we were done, it looked good enough for my landlord not to notice. What do you think? This is like, this is gonna be the coolest thing ever. The last thing we had to do was fill it up. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm pretty nervous about this. So, I woke up today and realized I have a big problem. I left the ice bath plugged in too long and completely forgot about it. And now, completely frozen solid. The whole point of building this bath was for me to be consistent. And if it's going to freeze into a solid block of ice, that's not gonna work. I had to find a way to get the ice out and it seemed like calling my brother was the only option. What's up, buddy? I have a problem. I was wondering if you could bring some things over from the house. You brought a chainsaw? to my apartment? Is that even legal? I don't know. The chainsaw cut through the ice like butter. Oh my God. And within a couple seconds, we had our first chunk removed. What? Well, that's kind of cool actually. Now going forward, I bought this little thing for like seven bucks and this is a timer. So I plugged this into the wall where this won't happen again. The freezer shouldn't be making any more ice, but there's still a thousand pounds of it to remove. Once this thing's empty, I'm getting in. 
farther down we got, the harder it was to cut the chunks out, because if we hit the sides or the bottom with the chainsaw, then we put a hole in the tub. So for the last little bit, we actually used hot water to melt the ice away. Cool, we made it through the ice. We only have two big chunks. And after about three hours of working, we got our last chunk. Oh my god! That's like 100 pounds. Okay, here, here, here. I'm gonna hit it. Here, get the door. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'm never gonna be able to take a shower again. <laughs> and with all this ice out, we decided to add some final touches to really make it pop. This room was amazing. Not only did it have rain and mist, I could control the sound and lighting through my phone. And with the click of a button. Oh, thunderstorm! You guys don't understand how amazing this is for me because I can see myself getting in this ice room every single day and being consistent. And there's no excuse not to. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that's cold. Now I can just flip the switch and start the shower. <laughs> ice baths help me be a better person. They help me be happier and less stressed. And although they're hard, I do them because I know they're good for me. And if you're still watching this, what I'm leaving you with is get up and go do the thing that you know you need to do to make your life better. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.